Welcome to this session on ways to use Google Scholar for research. Before starting to use Google Scholar, check that a location-specific version of Google Scholar hasn't opened. Access Global Google Scholar from the link below the search box. Once in Google Scholar, adjust the settings to make searching and access more efficient. This includes changing the search results options, adjusting the library links to include links to your university's library catalogue in the search results, and adding the Google Scholar extension button to a browser. Use the advanced search to learn Boolean operators or search commands used to get the most from a search. We'll use the research topic Greenwashing the Supply Chain and Corporate Social Responsibility to demonstrate searching techniques. An exact phrase search will give results for exactly what is typed. See how Google translates this into a search command by adding double quotation marks around the words to keep them together as a phrase. To search for two or more words, all of which are to appear in the same document, add them to the All of the Words field in the Advanced Search form. A search can be narrowed to specify that the words must appear in the document title, although be aware that this may exclude some relevant results. Note the command of All in Title along with the search words. The space between the search words is treated as an AND Boolean operator. For a comprehensive search, add the search word as well as its synonyms to the at least one of the words field. The Boolean operator added here is OR. Now the next search commands are not in the advanced search but are useful for more advanced searching. One command is the truncation symbol, also called the extension or stemming symbol. Type in the base word then add an asterisk. The search results include words that start with the base word and can have different endings. Use the around operator to have two words no further than a specified number of words apart. In this example, corporate is to appear within three words of the word responsibility. This can be before or after. This is a more comprehensive search and saves brain strain thinking of all the word combinations to include in a search. These search operators and commands can be combined and typed directly into the search box without needing to use the advanced search form once you're familiar with them. After running a search, consider the filters that can be used to refine the results. The default results list includes articles written at any time, but preset years can be selected or a custom date range can be searched. Results can be sorted by relevance or by date. Results can be filtered to show only review articles. Search results include a cited by link, indicating the number of times an item has been cited by others. Older and more influential articles will have a higher cited by number. Click on the cited by link to see the list of items that cite the original article. Clicking on an author's name will give a list of articles by that author, if they have a Google Scholar profile. This is useful for further research on authors who are leaders in their field. Select Create Alert to receive notifications each time a new article is added to Google Scholar that would have appeared in this search's results. The My Library feature can be used to create a library of article links. Click on the Save link below each record to add articles to My Library. My Library can be accessed from the Google Scholar menu. Labels can be created in My Library to group articles on a topic. This will organise the My Library records. Articles can be assigned a label as they're saved to My Library. Articles on each label topic can then be easily accessed. Up to 20 records at a time can be exported to reference management software such as EndNote from My Library, rather than the one at a time limit that there is from the search results list. Now for some Google Scholar caveats. 
Google Scholar is not a database. It's a search engine that searches for scholarly and academic literature. Results include peer-reviewed and non-peer-reviewed material, grey literature and open access content. Use Google Scholar in addition to databases as no product indexes absolutely all scholarly and academic research papers. For research help, visit the Murdoch University Library.